So recently I saw this meme going around in which you have $5 to spend in order to create your perfect partner. And for each little characteristic, you have to spend some of that money, some of that $5. And in this meme, if you want someone to be good looking, that's $1. If you want them to be tall, um, that's another dollar. If you want them to be romantic, it's $2. If you want them to be wealthy, it's $3. And there's a lot of these traits. If you want them to be faithful, it's another $3. And several more traits as well. And I thought this was really fascinating that so many people were weighing in on this. You know, this really got me thinking, this is the way most people are trying to find their relationship. They are bargain hunting. They're coupon clipping. Some people are even dumpster diving. But what we need to do really is to stop buying at a discount and we can instead get what we really want. You can have the partner you really want with all the features you want. You just need to increase your buying power. Hey guys, this is Zachariah Bourne, personal development and dating coach. And in this video, I wanna talk about how we increase our self-worth, how we increase that buying power and the effect that it has on our lives. So when you meet people, you talk to them for a little while, most of us can kind of inherently tell what someone's inner self-worth is like. We can say, oh, this is a confident person. Sometimes we can tell this person is a bit of a pushover, doesn't really have a lot of boundaries. Some people that we talk to, you know, have a lot of self-worth on one subject, but not on another. And all this kind of comes into play. And that's really why personal development is just so important. It's just made an extreme difference in my personal life. I was not confident, I did not have a lot of self-worth, you know, when I was young. And uh, when I was able to develop that, it just made a huge difference on all of these little things in my life. It was a game changer, for real. So anyway, back to the analogy. So this $5 that you have to spend, but you really want $15 or whatever, $20 worth of qualities from your partner. We have to think about this, what increases the amount of money you have to spend, right? So when you increase your confidence, right, you have more dollars to spend. When you increase that inner value, that self-value in yourself, you have more dollars to spend. And what's really cool about this is this is all an internal process. It's one of those things where if you believe something that you have has value, other people will feel that too. They'll be able to sense that from you. But that's my point. The more you develop yourself, the more buying power you have. Because you can have it all. All those things you want in a partner, you can have. But you have to be a match to that, don't you? Most people deep down only believe they're worth a certain amount. And you can kind of feel this from people, right? They believe they're only worth a certain amount. All of us kind of have this inherently in us. And a lot of it has to do with the way we grew up, other people's perception of us, things that we've gone through in life, you know, maybe other people's expectations or the way an ex saw us or, you know, it could be anything. But these beliefs are the things that really need to change. And most of us kind of have them running on autopilot, not sure why other people are excelling so much at one thing or another, or are able to get the things that we just seem unable to do so. But this is why. And it has to do with us feeling that we are deserving of what we want. When you feel like you deserve something, it's so much easier to have it come into our lives. And most of us have no idea if we do even feel deserving of something or not. Um, but a good way to tell what you feel deserving of is to look around your life. And it's a pretty accurate reflection of what you deep down, not here, think we deserve, but deep down through our experiences, think we deserve. So what we need to do, we need to start seeing ourselves as amazing, because all of us are amazing. We have such amazing qualities, each and every one of us, 
And that's a wonderful thing. And we need to appreciate those qualities when we appreciate them, right? Appreciation means to increase, right? We increase those in ourselves. When we say, hey, I feel great today, I look great. You know, it will increase that inner value in yourself. You'll notice the better you feel often, the more value you have in yourself, which is a really wonderful thing. That's why being positive is such an incredible gift to give yourself. That's why self-love is so important. There's this really fascinating thing that happens, definitely happened to me multiple times, where someone comes into our life that we perceive as being of greater value than we deep down feel we're worth. And around that person, we start feeling insecure, we get clingy, we um, get tongue-tied, we're not at our 100% best. You know, for me, I've been a shadow of you know who I really wanted to be around these people that I perceived as being great. That's what we call like putting someone up on a pedestal. This is kind of like going deeper on what that actually means. And it's really fascinating. We have all of these ways of pushing away the people that we want in our life if we feel that they're greater than our perceived value, right? Sometimes we'll get fear and become like really avoidant. Uh, sometimes people will start fights, you know, it's happened to me um, before. So when someone doesn't match our own self-image of what we think we're worth, they say, say they're greater than that, we have this amazing arsenal of ways of pushing them out of our lives. And most of us have no idea that we're doing it because it's almost on this like subconscious type level that we have no control over and often don't even remember or know that we're doing it in that moment. We can sometimes just feel that we're acting kind of strange for some reason. But that's when people act creepy, that's when people um, you know, get competitive, that's when people start fights for no reason. Um, people will uh, you know, get real, you know, like I said before, clingy, or they have all these different ways. It's a huge assortment of all these different ways that people do things in order to push someone out of their life and they usually can't even remember doing it and don't even perceive it that way. And some of you guys might find this really fascinating. I always think it's so interesting when you can watch it from the outside and see it, see it happen. It's like if your friend really likes someone and they go try to talk to them and they just start saying the strangest things, that's a perfect example of what's going on here. Usually I notice with guys, it's, it can be getting a little aggressive or um, trying to act creepy or being boring is kind of like some mainstays that men often like to use. And yeah, that, they just a lot of times just can't control it. And so that's probably what's happening. They don't feel worth, you know, uh, how they perceive you to be. So what's cool is as we increase our confidence, as we increase our self-worth, we can go back into that situation that before we would have acted so differently and not really been aware of what we're doing and we're cool, cool as a cucumber. We feel much more relaxed, we're not awkward, we're just easy, you know, we feel good, we're happy to be around, we're appreciating, all that good stuff. And that's a much better place to be and it makes people feel really good when they're around you because you're able to be present, to be loving, to be awesome in that moment and to appreciate what's great about them. Such a powerful thing in my opinion. And maybe some of you have experienced this too when you've gone to talk to someone you like, you know, maybe back in high school or you know, whenever, gone to talk to someone you like and you notice you're just not as cool for some reason around them as you normally are, or maybe not even close if you're me, and you can get tongue-tied or you know, say things that aren't that interesting, and you ever wonder why that happens? It's interesting, right? So there's a bunch of tools that you can use in order to increase this self-image, this self-value that you have, so you can start balling, you know? when it comes to dating, to your dating life or other areas of your life. And one thing you can do right now is you can get out a sheet of paper or make a list um, on your phone or something like that, whatever's easiest to you where you can glance over it. 
and you can write down all the great qualities that you have all the wonderful things about you I you know I'm generous I am caring I am fun I'm funny all these great things about you so you can start increasing the value of the things that you already have and you can make another list of the qualities that you want to embody and what you can say is you have these two lists is now this is who I am you want to get into this mentality this is who I am and then you realize that this person that you've written down you want to see yourself as them and so it's something you can do every day be say this is someone I'm becoming this is who I am I appreciate you know everything on this list I and you want to feel like this powerful person that you really are and I hope you guys really do do this list. Go ahead and stop the video and just put it down now and see the wonderful things in you. And it'll start to make you perceive yourself as that. Some of this is a bit of a new idea, so at the beginning it could feel a bit like a lie. But as you continually remind yourself that this is who you are, this is who you are, this is how you want to perceive yourself, soon it kind of trickles down from this cerebral level to where you know it on an intellectual level down into where it's integrated and it's just a part of you which is totally different so yeah if we really do this we're going to stop buying at a discount we're going to be able to buy at full price and maybe give a tip too right that's what we're really going for and so i hope you guys really enjoyed this video i hope you can take away something you know and find more tools in order to help you increase that buying power and to see yourself as valuable to see yourself as the amazing creature that you are because you are and you have so many special and amazing qualities i hope you can feel that through the camera as i'm sending it to you my appreciation for you can maybe help you appreciate yourself right that's important and i hope you guys tune in for the next video hit subscribe if you enjoyed this video and i'll see you guys in the next one all right take care